Finally, here it is, my review of the SOG Fast Talk. I don't even know why, for some reason I just kept procrastinating on this review, but finally here it is. I purchased this in 2012 and used it quite a bit since then, so now I'll let you know what I think about it. The uh, price range is $25 to $55, it depends on what kind of sheath you're getting. I was being a cheap bastard, like often, <laughs> so I went with the uh, soft nylon sheath. There's also a hard molded nylon sheath, and the one with the hard sheath is typically around $50, $55. And like usual, extra information and relevant links will be in the video description down below, so click on show more to see all of that good stuff. Let's take a closer look here. The uh, head is made of 420 stainless steel. I have seen 420HC mentioned on some websites, but I couldn't really confirm it, so I cannot tell you for sure what it is. It's certainly not a high performance steel. The uh, hardness on this one is 51 to 53 Rockwell, so that is on the soft side. There are, of course, ups and downs to that. The good news is that it's very, very tough. Bad news is that it's not gonna hold an edge for as long as uh, harder and uh, higher quality steel. Uh, it might also bend, even though with the thickness it's probably not gonna be an issue. Moving on to the handle, it is uh, ballistic polymer. And as you can see, it is mounted by way of the screws here. Well, that was frustrating. If you're wondering why one of the screws suddenly looks messed up, I was hoping to uh, remove the screws to show you how it is attached, but um, as it turns out, none of my bits fit properly. The ones that I have almost fit. They seem to fit at first, but then, yeah, they strip the screw, so yeah, that's not gonna work. But in any case, you can see, you can still see how far it goes, because there is a small gap right there between the metal band and the, the end of the tang. So at first I actually thought that it went th straight through up to here and was secured in by the band, but that's apparently not the case. It ends here. And uh, this band right there, which they call ferrule, is actually meant to strengthen the handle. Like in, in case if you strike something hard with the uh, this portion of the handle, that it's a bit more protected. Uh, I'm a bit surprised that they didn't actually make the tang go all the way through and then cover it with the metal band. It seems like a wasted opportunity, but then again, maybe there is some kind of reasoning behind it, I don't know. But uh, in any case, let's move on. Uh, here on the sides, you have checkering to act as a hammer. Have that on either side. The uh, blade here has a straight edge. I guess you could call it a Warncliffe edge if it were a knife. And on the other side a very dull spike. As you can see right here. And this is not from where they just come like this. The spikes are generally very dull. Which, of course, means that it's not gonna snap. It's not gonna bend or break or anything, since this is really, like, the spike is very overbuilt. It also means that it doesn't penetrate as well, of course. But, um, well, it would deal with harder materials a bit better where a finer point would simply be damaged. The uh, grip here has some pretty significant grooves for traction, which uh, works well for that purpose, although I have to say that it can get a bit uncomfortable, especially if you're using it without gloves. It's um, like the impact, the, the vibration and everything, it, it does get quite a bit 
tough on your, on your hand. So with prolonged use, this would probably be a blister machine <laughs> in that way. But uh, you could wrap paracord or whatever kind of cord around it to fill that up. That's not a problem. It's just that I kind of wish that I hadn't made the grooves quite that deep. But then again, some people might like it. Just not my thing, personally. Yeah, as you can see, it has a lanyard hole, and I have attached one, which is quite handy. And uh, so is the overall Tomahawk. It's, uh, it handles pretty well. It's not very heavy because of the size. This is the smaller version. They also have a, a larger Tomahawk, and it performs really well. From what I remember, it didn't come particularly sharp. And uh, like I already mentioned, with the steel, you can't really expect amazing edge retention whatsoever. I haven't actually sharpened it yet. As you will probably be able to tell, this is quite a dull edge by now. Which, um, yeah, that's not ideal. Even for chopping wood, you do want a, a sharper edge. It is still usable, even when it's dull. A knife pretty much is not. You know, with this, this kind of edge, a knife would not perform well at all. This is still usable, so that's kind of a neat thing. Um, one thing to keep in mind, even though I use this in my testing for all kinds of things, including chopping wood and uh, other tasks, this is meant mainly for a tactical uh, application. So you would use this for defense, for breaching doors. You know, it's, it's mainly for police and military personnel, but you can, of course, also use it for camping, outdoors, survival, bushcraft training, things of that nature. It does work for that as well. One thing to keep in mind, since the uh, edge is, is really short, just the, the cutting area that you have, it's not that easy to actually cut with it. When you are chopping with it, it has a tendency to, to more just penetrate into the material simply because it's you, you can't exactly do a draw cut with this. It's just a very short, straight edge, so that doesn't quite work with it. If you want to just cut, well, you can kind of use it as a, as a very short knife, uh, knife edge. So if you choke up all the way, you could still use that. But in general, if you just swing it like this, it will have a tendency to, to more bury itself with the entire head into the material rather than, you know, cutting it cleanly. What I like about it is that it's very agile. You know, because of the uh, relative lightweight and uh, small size, you can change direction very easily. And uh, this would make for a excellent self-defense tool. Uh, also because you know, if you were to smack with a side, it would make for a good uh, non-lethal or less than lethal uh, option. And it has all the usual benefits that a, a hatchet or axe or tomahawk offers you. You can hook with it, and uh, you have a lot of striking power because it's all uh, centered around uh, the head. That's where most of the weight is. It's really quite nice, and my personal favorite use for this is actually throwing. This makes for a very nice throwing hawk. It works just flawlessly for that. And I haven't had any issues whatsoever, no loosening, no breakage, nothing. It's really holding up well. So to recap, not a high quality steel, and uh, the grooves are a bit overdone here in my opinion, and the tang could definitely benefit from being longer than that. But other than that, it's a great design, it works well for a variety of tasks. It's easy to use, light, agile, and it's a great thrower. You know, if you get it with the uh, simple uh, soft nylon sheath, it's really cheap. I mean, $25. Apparently, you can even find it at Walmart for less than $25. At least I saw some people mention that. And uh, even if it was $30, I mean, this is really a good tool for the money. So I'm certainly liking it.